So by now, if you're a Dragon Ball Super fan and you've heard the news, then you're probably really bummed in regards to the future of Dragon Ball Super because we know that the Tournament of Power is supposed to be the final arc of the anime, Dragon Ball Super's ending. We do have a film, and according to many different articles and interviews, it seems as though the film is going to take place after the actual anime, so that'll be like essentially a sequel or you know a, another continuation in one form or another, again, via this film, but it's not actually you know like a ongoing series in that regard but there is some information that i think is going to make a lot of people happy for the most part i'm not 100 sure in regards to the longevity of it but in a nutshell it seems as though for the time being the dragon ball super manga is going to be continuing now you gotta start thinking well what does that mean do they mean that we're gonna just get brand new arcs or whatever it's not really uh, for the most part, very clear, but you gotta think, okay, the Dragon Ball Super Manga, and we'll read exactly what's said or whatever, but the Dragon Ball Super Manga, where it's at right now, is just starting the Tournament of Power very early on, so you gotta think, it's gonna take the dude, like, 6 to 10 chapters to wrap up the Tournament of Power, right? That's 6 to 10 months. On top of that, there's a film coming out, they'll probably do a manga adaptation of that as well, another 4, 5 months, 6 months, whatever, so there's a solid year of material that he's going to be doing, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to to be you know manga exclusive arcs that could potentially be animated later on it just means that you know the manga is going to still be around for a while it's not going away anytime soon because we've seen even with the goku black arc towards the end of it toyotaro yeah he might have sped things up a little bit but he had a really uh lock on the pacing he took quite a bit of time in fact people uh were a bit critical of the fact that the pacing of the arc should have like you know wrapped up a little bit sooner a lot of people felt so it's going to be interesting to see again if he's going to take that same approach we're gonna have six to ten chapters of the tournament of power right and then on top of that if they're going to be adapting this film into a manga version as well that's another decent amount of time we're gonna have a lot of time with the manga but let's read exactly what is said and we'll carry on dragon ball super manga illustrator says the series will continue the last week has been a very chaotic one for dragon ball fans after being told the franchise's latest anime run was ending the fandom found itself coming to terms with the shocking end dragon ball super success is difficult to deny leaving fans confused as to why the franchise would be ending however that doesn't seem to be the case after all toy animation did tell fans the franchise will live on and it will do so in a few ways. Earlier this week, the company announced new info regarding the next Dragon Ball movie. The film will mark the series' 20th feature, and Toei told fans it will act as the next arc of Dragon Ball Super. The feature will take place after the universe survival arc ends on TV, continuing the franchise via film for the time being. Oh, and the manga will go on too. This right here is the one that's going to get people a little excited, but... Again, let's carry on so we can get exactly what is said so we know what we're dealing with. Talking to Twitter, the man behind the Dragon Ball Super manga told fans his work will not be ending anytime soon. Totoro retweeted a message which Dragon Ball's creator Akira Toriyama shared about the impending movie. The artist wrote, with that in mind, the comic will continue as a comic. So again, if he has 6 to 10 chapters to do, and I'm just estimating, it could be more, it could be less, but if he has this chunk of time of chapters, which is monthly, to work on that, and then, you know, he gets to do the movie as well as a manga, which is what he's basically saying there. Again, that is a lot of time, and that makes sense why he would say it's not ending anytime soon. That doesn't mean necessarily that the manga is going to have original arcs or anything like that. It could, and I think that right there, that would clarify for fans, yeah, they're going to animate this shit. If the manga carries on, even after the film, then we will know. But it also makes me wonder, is this what Toyotaro was referring to when he said at some given point, his manga was going to surpass the anime. Who knows? Maybe for a while it was actually planned that they're going to take a break at some given point, transition into a film. You got to think they are steps ahead with a lot of things. So maybe when Toyotaro said that, he could have even been referring to this moment when the manga is going to carry on and the anime is going to end. But maybe it'll come back. Who knows? But again, let's continue on with what we have so far. The statement is a bit vague, but it sounds like Dragon Ball Super will be moving forward with its manga. There's no word on what kinds of arcs it will introduce or if it will adapt the first Dragon Ball Super film as well however fans do have high hopes that the manga will help usher in the eventual return of its tv series the franchise has plans to continue via film but it sounds like toei and toriyama have plans to revive its tv series in the future after all the creator's statements about the movie did not touch upon the dragon ball super manga and mentioned its show along the way so yeah, in a nutshell, potentially it could come back or whatever. And the manga, again, it's not going to end anytime soon because he's still added to the Tournament of Power and maybe even the movie. So 
it doesn't necessarily mean that the manga is going to have some new material that we haven't seen in the anime yet, but it could. It could be, again, propelling the series, or not necessarily even propelling, but essentially giving the series, like, yo, there's new material, so once they come back, they don't really gotta be stressing out on where, you know, where to go with things, maybe we could even get a fateful adaptation with the manga and anime, even though the manga and anime have had extreme changes, and they're gonna continue to have extreme changes, so it's gonna be interesting to see, kinda curious, how do you guys feel about this, for starters, it seems like they're going all over the place, because you gotta remember as well, Almost to a certain degree, the first two films of Dragon Ball Z when it returned, you know, the Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, they've essentially kind of been, you know, omitted in, you know, favor of the arcs. Yeah, they're pretty similar, but there's a few differences. So the movies aren't even in continuity anymore with the anime. And then now this movie, this new one is going to be a part of it and it's going to take place. Or are they going to do the same thing, eventually come back, readapt that movie and carry on? Maybe that's their plan at this point to, you know, do it the same way they started and have a couple more movies get those readapted and move forward i'm not exactly sure what's on their mind but how would you feel about that also what do you think about the manga carrying on do you think he's just referring to hey i'm gonna continue on with the tournament of power and then maybe even the movie or you think we're gonna get some original arcs in the manga i think he's playing it by ear he probably doesn't even know himself he's probably like yeah i'm still gonna do a lot of stuff with this arc that i gotta finish anyways and maybe even the movie stuff so i'll be around and then if it does you know they like yo just kind carry on bro people like this shit who knows and the anime could come back either way i'm excited this means and it gives hope to us fans dragon ball it ain't going nowhere they're just you know they're behind the scenes probably taking care of situations or things that are happening and it'll come back so give me hope but that doesn't necessarily mean either that it's carrying on completely so just gotta wait and see but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and do a little stalking on my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy bow have an awesome day.